welcome back to another episode of Extra Innings. I'm wearing a Giants jersey because I just recorded my overtime episode. Basically, uh, yeah, Yankees. We're going to talk about the playoffs, mostly in other teams, too, because the Yankees haven't played in a while. We're going to talk about the other teams and what's going on there, some shockers. Around the league, the first episode, really, we're talking about a team not in New York. Well, I am talking about a New York team, so let's get into it. All right, so some outside breaking news that doesn't have to do with baseball. The Browns traded for Deion Jones of the Falcons, which is a really big trade, and I'm kind of afraid of the Browns next year. Back to baseball. All right, postseason. Let's revert back to about the last game in the regular season where everything's kind of set and nothing else really matters. To this point, you got the AL side of things. In the Central, you got the Guardians, the only Central team to make it because they won their division. In the East, you have three playoff teams. The Yankees, the Blue Jays, and the Rays. Could have been, it could have very well been four if the Orioles had kind of outplayed the Mariners there or if they outplayed the Rays more likely. But, sorry Orioles. You guys, you guys are at least positive this year. You guys made a run for it. Watch out for the Orioles next year. In the AL West, the Astros, of course, have first, first place booked throughout the entire playoff season. And excluding the Dodgers, who, if they make it to them in the World Series, the Dodgers will have home field advantage. Mariners behind them, they'll a uh, second, third wild card spot. In the National League, got the Cardinals, the only central team to make it there. The Brewers could have made it. They were a game away from the Phillies. Game away from the Phillies. The Phillies barely made it, and more about the Phillies later. Braves and Mets and the Phillies, three teams in the East, as... As, as the same in, in the AL East, so no similarities there. The Braves and the Mets finished with the exact same record, 101-66, but the Mets don't have the tiebreaker against the Braves, so they lost that. That's not the only thing they lost. Oh, I said that. Yes, I did. The Dodgers, of course, they have home field advantage throughout the entire playoff, no matter where it is. They are the best team in baseball currently. The Padres are 89 and 73. They also won. They won a wild card spot, and like I said, not the only thing they won. Back to oh, what have I done? Clicked on the wrong thing. Looking at, I'm looking down a little bit because I'm looking at my screen, looking at things that are there. It's kind of, I'm late. I'm tired, so I want to just do this quickly. In terms of the playoffs, a lot has happened. For starters, uh, going back to the 7th? Yeah, the 7th, Friday. The Guardians beat the Rays in Game 1. The Phillies beat the Cardinals in Game 1. The Mariners beat the Blue Jays in Game 1. The Padres beat the Mets 7-1, to which was a real shocker. In Game 2, the Guardians beat the Rays and won the series. The Mariners beat the Blue Jays, came back all the way and won that series. The Mets beat the Padres to, make, to push it to Game 3, and the Phillies beat the Cardinals in a real 2-0 shocker. And technically yesterday, if you're going to call it that, technically yesterday, because it's past 12 a.m., the Padres beat the Mets 6-0 and, and knocked off the 101-61 Mets in the wild card series. Sh I'm shocked. I'm shell-shocked at this point. What we're looking at in Tuesday... The ALDS. The Yankees are playing the Guardians, which I think we can beat the Guardians. The Padres are playing the Dodgers. Oh, that, that might not go well. The Braves are playing the Phillies. I don't really understand why the Phillies aren't playing the Dodgers. I, I don't understand the new format for this playoff. Apparently, they switched it up. I would think the worst team should face the best team, and the best team should face the worst team, and then the teams in the middle go off against each other, but whatever. The Phillies are playing the Braves. I think the Braves definitely got that win on lock. The Dodgers are playing the Padres. We're facing the Guardians, and the Mariners are facing the Astros. Now, here's what I wanted to happen. This is basically everything I wanted to happen, <clears throat> except for the Mets losing. The Phillies... I wanted to see some sort of comeback story. They, I wanted to see them win a playoff game. I really wanted to see them. They won the series, too. The Mariners, I wanted to beat the Blue Jays. I, I know, I know, I know. The Mariners are good and all. 
But I don't want to face the Astros in the playoffs. Every year, it's the same thing. We always end up against the Astros or the Rays. The Rays have been knocked off by the Guardians. We always seem to beat the Guardians, or Cleveland, I should, I should say, not always the Guardians. I think the Mariners have a better chance of beating the Astros than the Blue Jays do, so I'd like to see the Mariners play that game. And I think they might actually win that series. In terms of us, we don't have to play in the wild card for the first time in forever. I think we can beat the Guardians. I, I think with our three-man rotation, we can sweep this series and beat the Guardians. And the Padres against the Dodgers, the Dodgers are kind of, yeah, what they are. I'd like to see, I'd like to play the Padres in the World Series. I'd like to play the Padres. Maybe let's play the Phillies. Yeah, let's play the Phillies. Rematch in 2009. Yeah. Last time I think both teams were in the World Series, 2009. Let's play the Phillies. Yeah, I want to see that. So, yeah, that's how that's going to go. Some games are on other days. Other games are on other days. Phillies play the Braves on Wednesday, as do the Dodgers and the Padres. Mariners play the Astros. We play the Guardians. So, looks like Tuesday is going to be NLDS game one day. Wednesday is going to be, or, sorry, Tuesday is going to be Divisional Series game one day. Wednesday is going to be NLDS game two day. Thursday is going to be ALDS game two day. Friday is going to be NLDS game three day. Saturday is going to be ALDS game three day. And also NLDS game four day if needed. And then Sunday, we don't really know what's going to happen. Monday... It's going to be game five day. Wait, wait a minute. No, this isn't right. All right, game four day is going to be Saturday for NLDS and game three for ALDS. Sunday, I believe, is going to be game five if needed for the NLDS. And then Monday next week, the week after this week upcoming, Monday, October 17th, I should say, is going to be game five if needed for the Mariners and the Guardians, the Yankees, and Astros. That's the Divisional Series. There you go. In terms of what I think is going to play out, I've already... If I had to make a bracket of what I thought was going to play out last time, I've already messed up. <laughs> That's where we're at. So, if, even if... I, I think Atlanta's going to win NLDS Game 1. The Mariners, I, I think the Astros are going to win ALDS Game 1. I think we're going to win ALDS Game 1. I think the Padres are going to knock off the Dodgers in NLDS Game 1. Then I think the Phillies are going to win Game 2. I think the Padres are going to lose Game 2, which means the Dodgers win Game 2. I think the Yankees are going to win Game 2. I think the Mariners are going to win Game 2. I think the Dodgers are going to win Game 3. I think the Braves are going to win Game 3. Did I say that right? I, said the Phil I thought the Phillies... I think the Phillies are going to win one game. I think it's either the 12th or the 11th. In terms of NLDS Game 3, the Braves series, I think the Braves win that Game 3. I think the Dodgers win Game 3. And then on Saturday, this is a big, this is a big series, I think the Astros win Game 3. I think the Yankees win Game 3. I think the Yankees sweep the Guardians. I think the Padres win Game 4. I think the Phillies win Game 4. So, on Sunday, I think the... I really think the Dodgers are going to win the series against them. And I'm going to take a flyer here. I think the Phillies, because I want the Phillies, I think the Phillies are going to win the series, the NLDS series, and they're going to go up against the Dodgers. And it's going to either be it's going to be an underdog story in the NLDS, in the NL, NLCS, I should say. So, yes, I think Phillies are going to win Game 5. Dodgers are going to win Game 5. Then on Monday, I, think, I thought the Yankees already win. Then... I believe this goes to Game 5 with the Astros and Mariners. I think the Astros win the series. I want the Mariners to win. I just think the Astros are going to win. Because that's how it usually works. Anyway, uh, yeah. Tomorrow, today, I should say, is an off day. Look at this postseason image board. Yeah, I'm put this here. Pulling this up on my screen. Just one second. And here we go. Yeah, Guardians facing the Yankees, Seattle facing Houston, Padres facing L.A., and the Phillies are facing Atlanta. I might be going to this Yankee game. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to try and find a way to get there because I want to see what happens in this postseason.
That's all I'm saying. I've spoken for long enough. This is basically how the playoffs are going to go. It's what I think is going to happen. Not really talking much about the Yankees today, more about what's going on in baseball right now. So for anybody who's not a Yankee fan who just likes to watch these videos, and yeah, I hope you're happy. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm quite, I'm quite happy to not have to record anything else tonight because I'm tired. And I'll see you guys next time on one of these sports series.